source from IBM. She's a global solutions leader in IBM's energy and utilities industry. 25 years of experience. She was previously vice president of sales for vertical markets at Gartner, where she focused on the energy and utilities industry. Uh, she does serve on the, the board of the Smart Grid Consumer Collaborative, and she's actually out there in the field right now working on uh, solutions uh, that tackle the problems we're talking about today. So we're very glad to have her here to talk about uh, some of those solutions and what we're finding. Vicki, thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you, Jesse. Yeah, I, I just want to say thank you to Patty as well. IBM is a member of the Smart Grid Consumer Collaborative, and we we value very much as a member the work that they're doing in the area of consumer research and behaviors um, as they relate to smart grid and driving the benefits of smart grid you know, out to the consumers. Today I'm going to talk with you on the topic of gauging the smart energy consumer. And as I go through my presentation, if you could think about a couple of things. What if your organization could increase customer satisfaction with every customer interaction? What if your customer facing teams had the information necessary to delight your customers every time they made contact? And lastly, what if you could proactively provide recommendations and services to your customers before they even knew that they needed them? Now, for many companies and many industries, this is a far-reaching dream. But in fact, a new set of digital transformation enablers, that's a mouthful, is rapidly emerging and converging to create profound impacts at all levels. These are things like the mobile and connected everything, social media everywhere, the digital content explosion, and new and powerful analytics. Individuals are being impacted, and this means they're going to have increased customer expectations of you. They have many different ways and means they want to be engaged. Companies are looking to redefine customer value in light of all this digital connected world while managing risk and privacy concerns at the same time. And lastly, in many industries, they're seeing their entire business be disrupted, either by new competitors or new partners who are beginning to redefine and reshape their industry. And so for us in the utility industry, we can think about things like smart grid, solar, EV, et cetera. And there's a new breed of customer, right? And this new empowered customer is now dictating new terms between themselves and the companies they do business with. There are over 5 billion mobile phone connections uh, globally. 95 million tweets are sent using Twitter each day. 600 million Facebook users. And a large percentage of consumers, rather than coming to you, because 75% don't believe companies advertising, they're asking their friends for advice before they make a decision, buy a service, switch a company, et cetera. So these companies are empowered by technology and transparency. They expect to engage with you when and how they want, whether that's physically or digitally or mobily. And they want it to be a consistent experience between all those channels. And these customers compare notes. They share things instantly. And they can either champion your brand and your company, or they can sell your reputation with a click of a mouse. And the same empowered consumer expects these differentiated products and services and experiences from you. And regardless of where a utility company sits in that energy value chain, it needs to be conscious of the fact that the energy consumer of yesterday is slowly disappearing, and a smart energy consumer is evolving. Now, there are many drivers that are increasing consumer awareness, and Patty went through some of them. There's a need to focus on energy efficiency and energy conservation, emissions, rising energy costs, um, and many other agendas. But the smart energy consumer is becoming you know, very aware of where their energy comes from. They want to be more involved in the choices they can make to influence perhaps where it comes from, how it's generated, and how it's used. And so utilities are beginning to adopt new models to better understand their customers. Customers want to interact with the utility, and they want it to be seamless across devices. They want it to be smart, meaning that it's relevant information for them, it's personal information for them, 
It's immersive, meaning that they can be both a participant in the energy production or they can simply be an observer in that production. And they want it to be embedded in the way that they do business with you. I'm going to give you a few more statistics now. Patty went through a couple of the surveys and the research that Smart Grid Consumer Collaborative have done. I'm going to take you through a few relevant pieces that IBM has done recently. We began doing a CEO global study about 15 years ago. And ever since the study began, technology, you know, in its, in its widest sense, all types of technology, have progressively risen on the CEO's radar. And it now ranks as the number one factor across all industries impacting companies. And the CEOs talked about in the survey how advances in alternative energy, biotechnology, nanotechnology, and fields that are far beyond traditional IT are really changing their business and their operations, and in some cases, even their products, right? Other CEOs talked about the possibilities that are being created by the millions of network sensors in the world and all of the social change that their companies are being impacted by through Facebook and Twitter and Foursquare and other technology startups that are just storming across the market and the industries. And the fact that mobile devices are everywhere and they're increasingly pervasive and all these new technologies are emerging to help companies store and manage and make sense of all this new data. And CEOs also recognize that the new technologies are going to facilitate two key areas for them in terms of driving value, and that's human capital and customer relationships. Overwhelmingly, they see a focus on changing how people within their organizations interact with each other. And they view technology, in the old world, it was a driver for efficiencies. Today, they see technology as an enabler of collaboration and relationships and innovation. We also, last year in 2011, embarked on our first ever Global Chief Marketing Officer Study. And we conducted face-to-face -face interviews with over 1,700 chief marketing officers spanning 19 industries in 64 countries to find out what they were doing to help their companies cope with the fundamental shifts that were beginning to impact the business and the world. And just like the CEOs that we interviewed, the chief marketing officers also told us that the market and technology factors were the two most important forces that were driving their companies. And like CEOs, they felt rather anxious about how complex things were going to get in the horizon. In fact, their four biggest challenges, you know, they highlighted 13 challenges, but they felt pretty comfortable handling the list at the bottom. But the top four, the explosion of data, social media, the growth of all of the different channels and mobile devices, and the shifting customer demographics, they felt were the four that they were least prepared to manage. And both CEOs and CMOs in these two studies said that getting closer to their customers was one of three prerequisites for success they felt in the 21st century. And the last study, I promise, but this was a study conducted also at the end of 2011 by IBM's Institute for Business Value just within the utility industry globally. And it provides some interesting findings on current influences and perceptions and expectations of what we uh, think about when we think about our energy customer. Um, in much of the world, the highest expectations of an energy provider are, of course, reliability, outage restoration, and a consistent you know, provision of services. And you know, energy providers, uh, for the most part, are meeting these demands. And this is fundamental, foundational. However, if we look at the next layer of perception, we gain further customer insight. And we see there is a shortfall in a number of priority areas. There's a gap between what the consumers expect from their energy provider and what they actually experience. And at the top of the list is treats me as a valued customer, um, translated treats me as an individual. You know, there's a 29% shortfall there. Supplies clean energy, 28%. Helps me manage my energy usage, 
31% gap between what a consumer wants and what they perceive they're receiving invests in advanced technology 21% and adopts new technologies as a way of doing business 19. So this tells us that all energy providers, regardless of whether you're in the uh, generation, transmission, distribution, or even in the retail market in a competitive environment, they're all falling short of customer expectations and will need to change, especially in order to incorporate the smarter energy consumer. And realizing this, these uh, changes on the importance of customer uh, perception, as they say, perception is reality, utilities are taking action to meet the needs of an increasingly diverse customer set. And so all of those in the energy chain will be required to play a role um, in developing this smarter consumer. Much as Patty talked about, they're going to need to target education through different channels, different methods, and to understand that the behavioral change drivers are going to be different across customer demographics, geographies, and different social and political positions. And so the customer-related initiatives that you launch, your products, your services, they will only matter if they are valued by the customer that you are targeting them for. So we have to understand that you know, our market is changing, and we all need to be open to thinking of new ways that we can connect and engage with these consumers. In May of this year, our CEO, Jenny Rometty, held an Investor's Day. And you know, she really made a statement. IBM has long been known as, as much of uh, the industry that, that we're a part of as enabling what we consider the back office, all of the computer systems that you run within an enterprise, your data warehouses, your legacy applications, your ERP systems, et cetera. But she said that a new era of computing is upon us. And it's defined by computing moving to the front office. And this is because there are fundamental changes in consumer technology and behaviors that are causing companies to redefine the way they're serving customers. And so to succeed, these companies must change how they create and capture value from every interaction with that customer. You have to think in terms of systems that are more cognitive, that are insight driven, that bring new value propositions that are based on simplicity, flexibility, and cost savings. And all of these capabilities are going to be really grounded in three key things. Leveraging big data, leveraging social media, and leveraging mobility. <laughs>